going on guys? It is your boy Tail coming at you with another video and today I have a bit of an announcement to make in the intro. So I actually bought a camera and I actually have some videos on it right now which I don't like how the audio sounds so I'm trying to find a good mic for it to enhance the sound a little bit. But yeah, I'm actually going to use this for vlogging and whatnot. So um, uh, yeah, vlog channel is coming very soon. I'm going to be starting one. So yeah, with that being said, let's peep this fit and let's get right into the video. Let's go. Alright, I need you guys to understand that words only make up about 7% of all communication. 55% is nonverbal and 38% is vocal. So with that being said, communication is a wide variety of things that consist of body language, that consists of facial expressions, sentence structure, and tone of voice. So with that being said, let's move on to number one. Let's go. So number one, make good eye contact. See, when you make good eye contact, you're actually perceived to be more confident than what you already are, as opposed to when you keep looking down and keep avoiding eye contact, you look very, um, how can I say this? You look very secretive and untrustworthy. You know what I mean? And you look, and I've actually done studies on this, or read studies upon this, that it's actually linked to a low sense of confidence and you're perceived to be very shy. When that, As a side note, when you do make really good eye contact, it actually releases a hormone in the brain called oxytocin, which actually has, it's, it's like a bonding hormone. You know what I mean? Like, so when you're making eye contact and talking to somebody, you know what I mean? Don't be a creep and just stare at somebody in the eye. Like, just be like, you know what I mean? Don't do none of that. You know, when you're in a conversation with somebody, look them in the eye, talk to them. And, you know, it's like you're making a bond with that person. You know what I mean? So, yeah, moving on to number two. Number two, walk around or have good posture. Now, when you have good posture, not only can that make you look more confident, but it actually makes you more confident. The reason for that is because when you do stand up straight, that automatically boosts testosterone levels and that then decreases cortisol levels, therefore making you more confident. Now, when you have a, you know, when you're making yourself look a lot smaller and you're, you know, not taking up a lot of space, you look less confident, you look weak, you look submissive, you look all of that, all right? So with that being said, moving on to number three, let's go. So number three, smiling. So when you smile, you actually release endorphins in your brain, thus making you look more confident, thus making you more confident and making you feel more happier, all right? So with that, moving on to number four, let's go. Number four, self-care. So when you do a self-care routine, that's actually maintaining a very healthy relationship with yourself, not only with yourself, but with the people around you. You know what I mean? Self-care is linked to self-confidence and all that jazz so I have a little bit of experience with self-care I remember when I was about 17 years old I did not do any kind of self-care routines I do meditation I do a lot of that stuff now I'm actually gonna do a vlog channel depicting uh, my self-care routine and whatnot anyways that's besides the point when I started getting my hair cut every two weeks when I started dressing good when I started having good grooming skills when I start I still have a long way to go don't get me wrong but when I started doing all that stuff, when I started doing not only just the grooming part, but just doing the meditation, started doing things that I love doing, um, started talking to people because I'm a very extroverted person, I actually started to have more self-confidence within myself. It was crazy. My self-worth went up like, you know, it skyrocketed, you know what I mean? And when your self and when your self-worth skyrockets, then your self-confidence skyrockets, alright? So therefore, moving on to number five, let's go. Finally, number five, talk slowly. This is something I have not been doing for the whole entire video. Talk slow. When you speak slow, you look more confident and you sound more trustworthy. As opposed to when you're speaking quickly, you look more nervous and you look very unconfident. All right? So, yeah, moving on to the outro. Let's go. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram. And your boy Tails out.